Let's talk with political scientist, author, and distinguished senior fellow for constitutional studies with the Texas Public Policy Foundation, Dr. Carol Swain. Doctor, Hi. welcome back to Victory News. Thank you. Now, Dr. Swain, in that last story, the recommendations from the California Reparations Committee said nothing about slavery, the reason it was formed in the first place. When do you think this change in the issue happened? Well, the thing about it, they don't want to mention slavery because probably most or a large percentage of those black people in California are not descendants of slaves. And so they want to compensate as many people as possible. I see the legislation as purely symbolic. I doubt if any money will actually be paid out. And I believe that Governor Newsom has an incentive that has to do with his national political ambitions. If President Biden is pushed aside, if he doesn't run for re-election, I believe Newsom will be a strong contender. He will use his California push for reparations as a way to get black support. Do you think he would do it nationally, propose a national he, reparation? Uh, he would promise that nationally. And we know that would be uh, very divisive. And it would be something that um, would just, again, it would further divide our nation and it would do nothing to promote uh, unity wow. or racial healing. It's all a political ploy. Okay. And if he wants to do reparations, if there are white people out there that want to do reparations, then it should be private philanthropy. They can do whatever they want with their own money, but it should not be government money. I agree with that, doctor. Uh, protesters in New York City blocked subway trains in the tunnels and stopped traffic in the street over Jordan Neely's death on the subway last week. We don't, we don't want anybody to die. Former Marine placed the young man in a chokehold. Two other men helped subdue Neely. I want to get your perspective over this issue. Well, first of all, uh, Mr. Neely had serious uh, mental health conditions and he had been arrested uh, uh, or, or had been arrested, I believe, 44 times. He had pending criminal charges, which were felonies. If the law enforcement agencies and the mental health facilities had been monitoring people like him, he would not have been on the streets. He would have been somewhere getting care that he needed. So I would say the system and the government, they are responsible for his death. The three men that tried to subdue him were really three men that were trying to be good Samaritans. They were trying to protect other people on the train because the man had been violent in the past to other passengers. And so the left never lets a crisis go to waste. So this is a good crisis. They love to divide people along racial lines. They love to racialize everything unless it is a black on white crime, then we don't talk about those. Even if it is a hate crime, those are not to be discussed. Right. But if there's a way to divide the people by focusing on white on minority, uh, to bring race into it, uh, unfortunately, that's what the Democrats do because they believe that keeping us divided helps their political party. Right. Now that's they, all it's about. That's all it's about. They cheered when Tucker Carlson was removed from Fox News after his dismissal. That came as shock to many conservative viewers. You think it could turn into a good thing in the long run, though? Tell us why. I'm on the record of saying it's uh, it's going to turn into a good thing because Tucker had a wide reach that went beyond Republicans and conservatives, and he uh, is a truth speaker. And I believe that the American people are hungry for truth speakers. And he did a short two-minute clip on Twitter that's that's gotten millions of views. Like, I mean, more than 24. I, at one time, I saw 80 million. I don't know, but I do know that people are hungry for truth. Tucker will have a wide platform. Yes, he would. And and you're right. People are hungry for truth. It's the truth that will set you free. And you're one Amen. of those people that <laughs> speak truth. So where can viewers find out more about you and your work? Well, I have a website, bethepeoplenews.com, carolmswain.com, and I'm on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Getter, uh, True Social. Uh, look me up and follow me uh, on one of my platforms. And yes, I do try to be a true speaker. And you will hear the truth from Dr. Swain, I guarantee you. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us Thank today. Thank you. Mike?